Hi, I'm Chin Liu. And I'm Sal. A few weeks ago, we went on an open studio tour and got to see the amazing creations of local artists and craftspeople. One of the places we visited was called Rag Hill Farm, and that's where we discovered these clever bowl cozies. Check out the link in our description to see all the other functional art that they create. These cozies are great for hot soup off the stove and really useful for reheating food in the microwave. You just put your bowl in the cozy while heating and then use the handy tabs to pick it up and avoid risking burning your fingers. I love that the design is reversible so that you can pick the pattern that best fits your mood. Plus, when it gets dirty, you can just toss this in the laundry. The bowls we use at home fit really well, but when we take leftovers to work, we pack them in Pyrex containers like this and they just don't fit. So, for our next make, we're going to take inspiration from this design and make a cozy that perfectly matches our containers. There are plenty of ways to make fabric patterns. But for us, we're going to hop into CAD and we're going to model this in 3D. It's going to allow us to have a really accurate pattern, plus a quick way to adjust to fit all of these different size containers. I'll first take a few measurements and then model the basic shape of the container using SOLIDWORKS for Makers. From here, I can use the built-in sheet metal tools to transform the shape into folded up fabric. This immediately allows me to see what the flat pattern will look like. Even though we won't be making the cozy out of metal, we can continue to use the sheet metal commands to add the handle tabs as well as the seam allowances. At this point, we have a model that's ready to become any size we need it to. We just have to change the length, width, and depth values and the pattern will automatically update. The last thing we need to do is make a one-to-one -one scale drawing of the pattern and align it so at least a quarter of it fits on a single sheet of paper. With the pattern printed out, I start by cleanly cutting out the quarter shape. I grab some craft paper and fold it in quarters. After tracing the pattern, I cut out the paper as I would a piece of fabric. I want to check out the seam allowance, so I fold, tape, and test the prototype with the actual container. It looks good. So, I use the pattern to cut out the fabric pieces. I also cut out some batting with the pattern so that it can be sandwiched in between the outside layers. I hold back along the outside edge so that it doesn't thicken the edging too much as I'm not super comfortable sewing thick material. Over at the sewing machine, I attach the batting to the inside of the lighter sheet. Now I sew up the edges that will make up the vertical rise of the cozy. To attach the two fabrics, I line them face to face and sew up the edge leaving one side open so that I can turn the entire thing inside out. Once the batting is properly pushed into the corners, I close up the opening with a slip stitch, like you would use for a pillow or a stuffed toy, which blends nicely into the rest of the stitches. Since the two fabric has such a high contrast, I wanted to make sure that I'm using a dark thread for the blue side and a light thread for the white side. I just need to remember to always sew with the light side facing up. I use some more straight stitches through all three layers to lock in the batting. And finally, I flan the outside edge with a round of top stitch. Though I don't have expert skills on the sewing machine, I was still able to pump both of these out in a few hours. I'm really happy with the outcome. Plus, they'll make great gifts for the holidays. If you want to make one of these for yourself, you can grab free plans to our Pyrex designs over at the Made in 3D community. And if you want to support a small business and get a set of professionally made bowl cozies, check out the Rag Hill Farm store. Links to both are in the description below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on our next make. These cozies are great for hot. These cozies are great for hot soup. <laughs> I love that this design is reversible, so you can choose the pattern that fit. Fa that fa fast bits your nude. <laughs> fast bits your nude. <laughs>